everyone. It's Chelsea from Paper Rock to Your Studio, and I'm here with a gel printing with fluid media uh, video. I know you guys like to watch me gel print, and I am using, I started out with uh, acrylic inks, but quickly moved on to a set of pinata alcohol inks. I've got four plates out so that I have drying time in between. Um, there's a a 5x7, a 4x6, a 6x6, and a 3x5 plates out. And what I'm trying to do is make some crusty, grungy, interesting uh, multicolor prints to use this month for our Art Joy of Sharing theme, which is hashtag AJOS Grunge Revival. So I want grungy, crusty types of prints and I also was just playing with the stuff that was on my desk because I really didn't want to get anything else out. So I had a few little acrylic inks that I started out with. I think there's a green gold and a sepia toned one and a teal one. But I really found that they were too wet and so um, I have this brand new set of pinata alcohol inks. I think there's eight or nine colors that Peg had sent me recently, and it was just sitting right down there on the desk. And so I grabbed it and decided to use those because they do dry a lot quicker. And I was messing around with different types of mark making, like stencils, and uh, also um, some bubble wrap and some other weird stuff I had on my desk. Really, this was just me sitting down in the morning to play. Instead of working in my uh, junk journal like I was planning to, I decided to make some prints. So that's what I'm doing. Um, you guys know about gel printing, I think. I'm, I'm not sure there's a lot I need to say about it. <clears throat> Alcohol ink is fine on your gel plate. There may be, over time, some discoloration of your gel plate. That is natural. It has nothing to do with what you put on there. Don't freak out. I know there's a lot of people who want a clean, clear, perfectly pristine gel plate. And what I say about that, people, is that is a tool. This gel plate is a tool. It's not something you need to be precious about. Get it out. Put some stuff on it. Um, you know, obviously we use a lot of acrylic paint, which is what I'm doing here. I like to make multicolor, multi-pattern stuff on the plate and then pick it up all with one layer, very thin layer of acrylic plate, paint like I just did. <clears throat> so that had some alcohol or I mean it had some some acrylic inks on there and um, some bubble bubble wrap texture and I let you know different things dry and then I picked all that up with a light yellow color very thinly. This one at the top has a bunch of different splattered alcohol inks on it which include some metallic ones and I'm picking that up with a dull green uh, acrylic paint. I like to use the paint that's in the tubes and it doesn't have to be expensive stuff. You can buy it at Michael's. You can buy the Arteza brand set of, of tube acrylic paint. But I think that the consistency of it is really great for gel printing. It's kind of gelatinous and thick, like kind of a medium to heavy body uh, paint. Some of the paint I'm using is Liquitex heavy body paint too, as I go through here. Um, I wasn't trying to teach here. It wasn't my intention to teach. I was just playing and entertaining myself and making some prints that you will see coming up in future videos that uh, are grungy. That was my intention. So this first set of prints has a lot of ochre and green and a little bit of teal in them and I'm in this time to pick it up I'm using some off-white some titanium and I'm using scraps I save everything and especially paper so the paper I'm printing on today you guys might be curious about that I had a stack of my 2019 my 2020 and my 2021 planners on my desk and 
I just got a 2022 one, right? So I threw it on the top and I realized that my stack was getting awfully thick. And so I grabbed the one on the bottom. Actually, I think it's not the one. It was, uh, I can look here. This one's the 2021. So I have the 2021 and 2022 right now on my desk. I only need the 2022. I don't need the other one. But I just haven't done anything with it. But it was such a cute calendar. And I believe that that I got it from, this is going to sound very strange, but the Cracker Barrel Country Store. It had three llamas on the front. And I didn't want to throw anything away out of that that book. There's just no reason to throw away paper. No reason to throw away the adorable covers. So I took the covers off the spiral. I cut them down, took, cut the 2020 off the top and threw that part away. And then I made that into a journal cover, which I haven't put any signatures in it, but it was thick, heavy paper with these adorable llamas on the front. Not gonna throw it away. So um, this paper that you're watching me print on here is the paper that was inside that calendar. And some of it has writing on it. Some of it was never even written on because really the only thing I use is the, the months, the two pages of months that have the little like two by two inch squares. That's what I use to plan all my, my videos and everything. Plus write down doctor's appointments and things that I need to remember. It's all on my computer desk. So that's what I'm using. Doesn't matter that it's got printing on it because um, my general mode of gel printing is to pick up everything at the end with a layer of paint. And as long as I use the um, opaque paint to pick it up at the end, or the pretty much mostly opaque paint to pick it up at the end, that will cover up whatever printing is on the paper. So that's what I wanted to say about it. I don't know. So now what I'm doing is, um, so there, I just was recently watching a live stream from PM Artist Studio and they live stream every Sunday, which is not really a great day for me, but they, I think it's at 10 o'clock mountain time, I think, um, on Facebook. And they have a shop at pmartiststudio.com where they sell laser prints and they're their own design. And then they, they have figured out how to print with the laser printer to be able to do a resist. And I'm, I, I have a terrible time with this. I have a laser printer. I bought one. It's not the most expensive thing ever, but I print something on it. And then I go to use, you know, that, that's either magazine or laser print resist technique on the gel plate where you put a thin layer of paint and then you press the print the magazine page or the laser print down face down and you pick it up and it leaves a pattern it just does not work for me the magazines I have don't work the I mean I've, I've got it to work slightly but apparently from what Mariah over at PM Artist Studio says you got to have the right paper and the right settings on your laser printer to get it to work good and so since I I really don't have time and and mental capacity right now to figure all that out to print a bunch of stuff and waste a bunch of toner and waste a bunch I just purchased their their set a couple of their sets of papers and you get two laser printed papers and it's their own designs, so they're, they're something different. And she included in the package a couple of their stencils as well, which uh, look like they're cut on like a, um, an electric um, die-cutting machine out of thick cardstock. And so I'll be using those too. And I didn't, I didn't do very much of it, but I did start playing with it. The thing that, that is going to happen is that there's a couple of them in there that I absolutely love the design and I don't want to use it because once you use a laser print, you know, a laser print to do something like this with make the print on the gel plate, then it gets paint on it and then it has paint on it and you can only do it once, right? <laughs> so I bought these things, but I can't reuse them more than one time. But I did realize that I can keep, still keep them and use them in collage. So they're not wasted. But I do know that I'm going to get paint on there. And it's like, uh, 
it's going to be something that I hoard. I can already tell. So I need to figure out how to make my stupid laser printer work to do this so that I don't hoard the paper because it's what's, what's going to happen. It's sad, but it's true. Because once I use it, I can't use it again. It's it's not like a stencil where you can reuse it and reuse it and reuse it. It's it's a one-time shot. And then you get the paint on there, and then after that it doesn't resist anymore because now the paint has gone over the top of that toner that's been printed with the laser. So, sad story. But I did use a couple of them. And because my plates were small, I cut them in half. My very, very, very favorite print of this printing session is using one of those um, those laser printed papers that I purchased from PM Artist Studio. And I posted it a picture of it in the community tab. So if you click on the community tab, you'll see a post there of a close-up picture of that one print, which is coming up very soon. In fact, this might be the one right here. Is it? It is. This is my favorite. And it has those circles on it. See the little circles? That's from the design that they printed onto uh, some type of paper. And with some type of settings that I don't understand. And it worked. It worked. <laughs> Yay. So, yeah. That's what I'm doing today is I'm just playing I did want to tell you guys something while we're here in the video that I did yesterday. I set up yesterday, well, it took a couple of days because I had to have approval, the membership for my channel. You can join my channel as a paid membership. And the way that you do that is there's a join button that's down below under, you know, next to the subscribe and all those. There's a join button. You click on that. And then you can sign up to be a member of Shell Circle, which is the name of my membership on my channel here. Now, if you do that, and it is pay, it's a paid membership, guys. It means you're paying me, right? What do you get if you do that? I bet that's what everybody wants to know. Why would I do that? I'm getting free content um, all the time. Why would I need to do that? Well, for one, it's nice. <laughs> it's $1.99 a month and you know it helps it helps me I mean I'm doing all this for free people it helps me to buy more materials and to to maybe not be wasting my time as much um, also you will get an exclusive video that only members can see and that will come out on the 15th of every month so you'll be you'll be notified by the membership tab thing that I've posted that that video that only you guys can see only the ones who sign up for the membership also you get some little icons that I designed as well as some little emoticons uh, they're a little bit bigger that have things like hashtag crusty bits and no p word and gel queen and stuff like that little cute little things that I designed and right now there's only four of them um, as we get more members into the group, there will be, I'll design more of them. I only have an option of making four right now. So that's what it is. It's a way for you to support me and my channel going forward by signing up for $1.99 a month. There might be tax dependent on your state. So it might be like $2.07 or something if there's like, a tax or I don't know I don't really know I just I just found out there's a community tab okay <laughs> that's how tuned out I am and what's going on on YouTube <laughs> yeah things happen to me I don't know anyway I wanted to tell you guys that I haven't made a separate video for that yet um, it's it's brand new I have one member so far so thank you person who signed up <laughs> I'm pretty impressed that I have an, one entire member already. And I'm just continuing to print here as we're talking. What The pictures here that I'm showing are how I sorted out the prints after I was done uh, in ways that I can use them together for collage. So like colorways like pink and orange and uh, those ones together and then the more neutral ones together, the more black and white ones together. You know, those um, 
natural greens and golds at the beginning. I call those baby poop colors, but that's just me. They look like baby poop, but they are useful. So <laughs> if there isn't any colors I don't like. I'm not that big of a fan of brown, but, um, and I am a huge fan of purple. So yeah, we all have our own preferences. This time I just put some alcohol ink on there and on one plate. And then I put that baby wrap, that baby wrap. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bubble wrap on there. And then when I picked it up, I put it on a couple more plates and, um, and then the one in the corner had some of that sepia acrylic ink on there, which I got really wet and it was taking it forever to dry. I don't think it ever really did dry, but I did end up getting a print off of it. So I know some of you want to know what I'm going to do with these. And I did promise at the beginning of the year that I was going to make some videos that are like print to project. I did actually make one of the end of December I think where I showed you that I made these prints and then this is what I made with it and I do I do want to do that um, I think that's useful education wise for people to see this is the print this is what I did with it right and I do I do plan to do that more this year but this time I was not I was not making these for a specific purpose I was making these to make um, things to go with grunge revival and trying to make grungy prints although a lot of my preference is to use bright colors and I, I really think of grunge being more of like natural and dark and industrial colors that's probably that might be a prejudice of mine but um I mean that one's grungy right it's got a lot of a lot of nuance of different colors layering through other colors and uh, that's the reason that I was using fluid media like alcohol ink because it's translucent and so if you layer one color on top of another one it will show through so I was also using translucent paints with the exception of the paint that I was picking up with at the end if I could I used an opaque paint for the last pick up layer so that uh, what was on the paper wouldn't show that's the only reason because there's lines and numbers and stuff on there so this is the neutral set I used that same uh, laser print that circly circly one that's my favorite one I love that love 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 that there it is right there aha <laughs> and I got uh, like when I'm doing it right now I'm putting a very thin layer of a titanium buff color on there putting the print down, face down, picking it up, leaving, and that leaves a resist, leaves the pattern on there, and then I'm picking it up with black onto black paper this time. So you really see how it comes out with, with just, just that only, just putting a thin layer of paint, putting the print down, picking it up, just those three steps. There's lots more steps you can do with it, but... Um, yeah, that's that's lay that's resist printing, and a lot of people do it with magazines and get really cool images with magazines, which I just I suck at. It depends on the paper of the magazine, it depends on the ink of the magazine, and I just I don't know. Not that I've tried that hard because I really don't need a bunch of faces printed on the gel plate. So most people do, you know, fashion magazines and things like that. But anyway, I think this might be my last round. Put way too much white paint. So as you see, when you do a pickup layers printing like this, like I do so frequently, you do need a thin layer of paint. So I ended up having three plates with just the paint I put on one. <laughs> you, really, you kind of need to be able to see what's underneath that you're planning on picking up through the paint. That's how then it needs to be to do that. So this was all with one application of alcohol ink and a stencil. And then I just flipped the stencil over, put it on another plate, and then I flipped it over. I spritzed it with a little bit of alcohol, flipped it over again, and put it on another plate. So even one application of alcohol ink can be used on multiple plates. 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know you guys like to watch gel printing. <laughs> I kind of think it's sort of like watching uh, paint dry, but <laughs> I like to do it. I don't necessarily think I want to watch it. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment or question below. Subscribe, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already. And, of course, now you can join my membership if you haven't done that yet. And also, you can share this on social media. And uh, you can ask me a question on the community tab. There's all kinds of things you can do now. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <music>